This is Capitol Hill in Washington, where all of a sudden the Democratic Party's hold on the Senate is looking a little shakier. Just days after a narrow win in the Georgia runoff gave the party a 51 to 49 majority. The CBC's Magda Geber Selassie is in Washington with the latest. Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema says she's leaving the Democratic Party, making the call to be an independent. She says she knows people will be surprised but that she's never fit into any party box. Now, this all comes during a week when the Democrats just grabbed their 51st seat in the Senate after the runoff election in Georgia. That number of seats is supposed to make things easier for the Democrats to pass legislation, among other things. Now you have Cinema making this announcement, and she's no stranger to putting up hurdles for what is now her former party. She's been one of two senators that has held up pushing through agenda items for the party. She had negotiating power because for the last two years, the Senate was a 50-50 split with the VP having the tie-breaking vote. However, with these midterm election results and confirmation of 51 seats this week, the belief was the Democrats would have a little wiggle room. They could lose one vote and still get things passed. But Cinema's decision now may get in the way of that. Here she is on CNN saying why she wants to be an independent. And I'll be able to show up to work every day as an independent and not be, you know, stuck into one party's demands of following without thinking. And, and as we've seen in recent years, both parties have created this uh, kind of requirement or a pull towards the edges that you just unthinkingly support all of one party's viewpoints. It's made it difficult to find folks who are willing to work together and solve problems. The thing is, the Democrats' control of the Senate already includes the cooperation of two other independents that are considered to be part of the caucus. Bernie Sanders is one of them. Will Cinema be like that, keeping it to 51 seats for the Democrats? She was asked. She didn't really say in the interview. But the White House says nothing really changes. Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre released this statement. We understand that her decision to register as an independent in Arizona does not change the new Democratic majority control of the Senate. And we have every reason to expect that we will continue to work successfully with her. Magda Gebrasalas, CBC News, Washington.